just ruined my intro I have to start again okay here we go so today we're going to learn eight words eight places okay a store or a shop a restaurant, a cafe, a market, a supermarket, a park, a hospital, and a cinema or movie theater. Let's start with the first one, a store or shop. That's a place where you can buy some kind of product, we call them items, like clothes, shoes, uh, t-shirts, or it can be pens, pencils, or food, like uh, fruits and vegetables, okay? So, this is a store or a shop. In British English, we pronounce shop. Shop. Store. In American English, store. But in both countries, we use these words a lot. Okay? In British English, we would say store. Store. Mm, my British is so good. Okay, let's see some examples. Okay, so here you can see the clothes store. Or clothing store and this is Tommy. Tommy, 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 Tommy. But those who don't know him, let's call him the man in a blue suit. He is collecting a hidden package. Hidden means it's secret. Okay, you have to collect them in this game. Where is he collecting a hidden package? At the store or at the shop. So English has this structure and it's pretty simple. This is what we're doing today. We're going to describe what is happening in different places in the moment. I demand access to the toilet right now. Right now. We call it present continuous or present progressive. We use it to express the actions that are happening right now. Right now? Right now. Right here, right here, right now. Let's see one more example. Uh, we don't know his name, so let's call him the man with a beard. So the man with a beard, what is the action? What is he doing in this moment? Well, he is buying... What is he buying? He's buying some clothes, some shoes or boots. Where? At the store or at the shop. You can see that's a... That's an English shop. The place, the part of the day, with whom, why, and all the details, they go at the end. Let's see some more examples. But this time with a restaurant. Okay, a restaurant is a place where you can sit at the table with your family or with your friends and order some food and drinks. In British English we say... Restaurant. 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 British and American versions sound pretty much the same, but pay attention that we write restaurant and AU sounds like oh, restaurant. We don't say restaurant, no. Restaurant, like Austria, the country of Austria, or the name Paul. We don't say his name is Paul. It's not Paul, it's Paul. Okay, Paul. Let's see some examples. We have the frogs, we have the cuphead, and we have these insects, they're called flies, because they fly. So original. Love it, so original. Let's talk about the flies. The flies are having fun. What are they doing? They're having what? Fun at the restaurant. In English you can say at the restaurant, the place 
or you can say in if it's inside a building, an enclosed space, okay? The flies are having fun at the restaurant and at the same time, what are the frogs doing? Well, in English we can say while, while means at the same time as while the frogs are fighting the cuphead. In this case we have the owls, these animals are called owls and their chefs, their profession is to cook their chefs. So the owl chefs are cutting, cutting what? Cutting onions and they are cooking some soup where? At the restaurant. All the details go at the end but today we're interested in places only, okay? Yeah, sorry for that. Uh, I'm a gaming teacher, Anthony, not a cooking teacher, so please don't destroy me in the comments section. If you notice, cutting is double T, so cut is one T. Why do we write double T for cutting? Well, that's because if we just add ing, it's going to sound cutting. The owls are cute, but they're not cutting the onions. Onions are not cute. Look at this one. He's crying like a baby. He's not being a pro. Total noob. Classic noob. We changed the pronunciation and we don't want that. So we double the T and the pronunciation is cutting. Cut, cutting. The owl chefs are cutting onions and you can say and cooking some soup at the restaurant. You don't need to repeat are again because you already mentioned who you are talking about and you already mentioned this action are okay so you don't have to repeat it the owl chefs are cutting onions and cooking some soup at the restaurant and burning all the kitchen okay then we have the cafe and it's not the same as the restaurant a cafe is a, let's call it a type of restaurant where you can drink some coffee or tea and eat something light, like a sandwich, a cookie, a croissant, etc. Okay? It looks like a restaurant, but the tables are smaller, there are some tables outside, and the main thing here is the coffee. Okay? You don't come here to eat, you come here to drink some coffee and the for example starbucks you can also call it a coffee shop okay it's a little bit different from the cafe cafe looks more like a restaurant but for most of the cafes and coffee shops they look basically the same okay so there isn't a big difference in british english we say cafe 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 but in american english we say cafe Notice the difference? Cafe. 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 And if you notice, cafe goes with an accent because it's a word from French language. Okay? Let's go to Los Angeles, baby, where life is difficult for animals. So the monkey, the monkey's gotta eat. He needs some money for bananas. You're working too hard, kid. And for that, the monkey is playing some musical instruments like the drums and the guitar. Okay, where? Well, at the cafe. And if you notice, the clients, people, are not giving any money to him. Poor monkey. Poor sweet monkey. So, in English, we can also use contractions. We can say the monkeys playing instead of saying the monkey is playing we can say the monkey is playing we can use a contraction this apostrophe okay and you can say people are not or aren't giving him any money okay uh, what happened here? oh no sorry sorry, sorry. Uh, abort, 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 abort. sorry he got angry there okay in this case, Tommy again. Tommy! 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 The man in a blue suit. What is he doing? He's collecting or he's getting. And again, we double the T. He's getting 
a sword at the cafe or at the cafe okay uh, interesting fact is that in the United States and in the UK there is a sword in every cafe true story let's go to the market a market is a place that is usually on the street and different people have their stands or kiosks okay and they sell their products their items it can be a clothes market it can be a food market it can be like a combination of different items okay and market we say market 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 because in British English after a vowel a e i o u these are vowels after a vowel we don't pronounce the r we say market park market supermarket in american english market market we do pronounce the r market okay so in this case well we don't see anyone doing anything so let's talk about you meaning i not, not me you who are you? You. No, not me, you. Yes, I am you. Just answer the damn questions. So I, what am I doing? I am walking. Uh, in this case, we're not walking anything. We're not walking the dog. I am walking. I am walking in the market. Okay. So you can also use the contraction. I'm walking. Okay. I'm walking in the market. And we can add, but I'm not buying anything. I'm walking in the market, but I'm not buying anything. And we don't have a negative form for am not. You can say I'm not, but you cannot say I am't. I am't. That's not easy to pronounce. You can say, some people say I ain't. Sounds cool, sounds from the streets. If you want to be a gangster, you can say I ain't buying anything, but the academic version is I'm not. Well, finally, there is a video game with me, gaming teacher Anthony. But you, awesome students, you're going to say, You, you gaming teacher, what am I doing? You are running, notice double N, running, after a bald man, a man without hair. Sorry for the mess. Where am I running? At the market. And obviously you can use the contraction. You are running. Just remember the double N because we don't want to say running. You are running. Next on the list, supermarket. A supermarket is a building. It's not like a market, it's building that belongs to one company where you can buy many different items that you need in your house, okay? It can be fruits, vegetables, clothes, uh, stuff you need in your house. In British English we say supermarket. Supermarket. In American English? Supermarket. Supermarket. Again, we don't pronounce the R. Supermarket in British English. So here, who are we talking about? We're talking about an octopus in a blue suit. And he's picking he's picking an apple at the supermarket. Sorry, it's not easy to control an octopus. Okay, and here we have the man and the goat. So the man and the goat are riding... What are they riding? A shopping cart. Where? Well, at the supermarket. The man and the goat are riding a shopping cart at the supermarket. And if you notice... Ride is R-I-D-E, but when you add the N-G, you can erase the E. Riding. Right, right. The park. The park is a place that has many trees, benches, path. Okay, you can walk there, you can sit, you can relax. 
Okay, you can have a picnic there in British English. Park. 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 In American English, park. The same story with R. Again, the man with the beard, he's wearing a mask now. He's right, at the park. He's kicking up what? The soccer ball in the park. Kick is this action you do right, with your legs. Here, mm, the artist, he's not painting anything. He's a phony. Sir, sir, excuse me, sir. You're not painting anything. What are Don't you doing, sir? Me. What are you doing, sir? Are you painting me? You're not painting anything, sir. Sir? Oh my god. Sir, I'm going to call the police. Have I offended you? Sorry, ha have I offended you? Why are you looking at me like that? So the artist is painting some invisible graffiti on the wall in the park. You have offended my family and you have offended the Shaolin Temple. The hospital. The hospital is a place where you go when you are sick or the ambulance drives you there and you need some help from the doctor. In British English, hospital. Hospital. So the pronunciation is basically the same. Let's see some examples. I don't know about you, but if I get sick, I want to go to this hospital. So, who are we talking about? The boy with a paper bag on his head. He is using... What is he using? In English we call it a flashlight. Or in British, a torch. What is the objective? To escape. He, he's using a flashlight to escape from the patients, these are patients of the hospital, at the hospital. The boy with a paper bag is using a flashlight to escape from the patients at the hospital. Same game, but now with a sexy doctor. And the boy has his BFF, his best friend forever? I don't know. So, the children, one child, to children. They're hiding from... well, they're not hiding anything, but they're hiding from the sexy doctor behind the tables, damn, that was close, and under the beds in the hospital. The children are hiding from the doctor behind the tables and under the beds in the hospital. And the last example is about Trevor. If you don't know him, let's say he... What is he doing? He's driving the blue car through the hospital. In English, we call it through. When you enter one way, you cross something and then you exit the other way. That's through. He's driving the blue car through the hospital. And if you notice all three actions, use the boy with a paper bag. He is using the same with hide. The children are hiding. And now Trevor, the action is drive, but he's driving. We do not keep letter E, okay, when we add ing. Okay? Rude not to follow through the window. Cinema or a movie theater is a place where you can sit, relax and watch a movie on the big screen. Cinema. In British English they call it cinema. In American English a more popular word is movie theater. Movie theater. And if you want to say movie theater in British English you pronounce it theater. Movie theater. Every cow's dream is to go to the movie theater. This animal is the cow. What is the cow doing? Well, the cow wants to go to the movies, so the cow is going where? Well, he's not going anything, but where? To the movie theater. Uh, wait, there's a message. Oh, okay, 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 so that's $20 per person if you want to get in 
per person, not per animal. So this this cinema, I see, I see what's going on. The cinema is racist. Racist? Well, not racist, like uh, animalist. Is that a word? Animal, animal cruelty is wrong. Animal cruelty. It's not animal friendly. They don't let the cows get in. Okay, okay. Just let me see one more thing. It is the same with this cinema. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's all the city, I'm telling you. The city is not animal friendly. This is the height of animal cruelty! Let's get out of here. Get in the car, cow. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the police. That's right. So you can't get into the cinema, but you can get into the car. Amazing. Drive! Go, 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 go! Oh damn, yeah, I'm so stupid. Yes, the cows can't drive. Congratulations, we made it this far. Now is the best part because we're going to play a game. So check the description under this video and find the link to game one. Click on it and I will show you how to play it. So this is game one. Here you have to match, connect the text or audio with the descriptions. If you're correct, the cards are going to disappear. Give the game some seconds to load all the animations and audios. And it's a good idea if you organize the animations on one side and the answers, the text and the audio on a different side so it can be comfortable to work. kicking up the ball at the park let's use this as an example so you remember it's from this game he's kicking up the ball the soccer ball at the park he's kicking up the ball at the park here we go if we are correct it turns green and the cards disappear okay and the same for the audio listen to the audio he is collecting a hidden package at the store collecting a hidden package at the store. Mm, who's collecting a hidden package? Tommy is collecting a hidden package. Here we go. Pause this video and try to finish this game and then come back and we'll check your answers. Here we go. Okay, so these are the answers. If you had problems with the game, check the letters of the audios. Here we go, let's check it. Booyah! Everything is correct. If you want an additional game, I've also included in the description under the YouTube video. This one where you can practice what we've been learning by playing like a Pac-Man game. Okay, what animal, look at the description, what animal is riding a shopping cart at the supermarket? Do you remember? It was a man and the goat. The goat at the supermarket. Here we go. Okay. Okay, check for this game in the description if you want an additional. And when you finish the game, you can write your name and see if you beat the teacher. Mm, someone already beat the teacher. Okay. Total noob. Classic noob. And finally, this is the best section where we see how gamer you are. Are you an occasional gamer? Are you a cat pressing the button? Or are you a pro like the gaming teacher? Total noob. Let's check how gamer you are and if you knew all the games that we saw today. Obviously, this, the first ones are going to be very famous. This is GTA 5, GTA Vice City, Cyberpunk, 
Okay, uh, Watch Dogs Legion, these are all famous. Sleeping Dogs, Cuphead, that's a cool game. Octodad, he's a dad, but he's an octopus. And he's wearing a suit. Little Nightmares 2, then we have Horizon Zero Dawn, Supermarket Shriek, that's the name, you play as a goat and a man, and you have to scream to move the shopping cart. Okay, mm, Overcooked 2, and a new game, if you don't know it, it's probably not in your country yet, maybe next year. It's called Duke Nukem 3D. Alright, this is it for today. I'll see you in the next class. Have a good day.